I quit social media. Michael Schneider here, Pilots of Rescue, top dog. Had a uh, great flight to just east of Cleveland today. Dropped off, uh, was it three? Yeah. Three, yeah. Three, three guiding eye dogs. Uh, two are going to be, or one's going to be raised, and the other were finished the training, right? Yep. All right, I'm talking to Thomas Panic, the CEO. He'll come on and say a couple of words. And we brought back uh, two, two dogs as well. Um, about a three hour flight there. We were uh, facing 40 knot headwinds and hour and a half back. So great day, very smooth uh, transport. Went really well. Welcome Nola, welcome Yvonne. Hi Sarah. Uh, Guiding Eyes um, is a terrific organization and we have a great partnership with them. It's, we're gonna do a lot of transports from this year and we're really excited to, to work with them. So we're gonna unload the, unload the pups. It's the name of the dogs? Oh, we'll have to see. We, we just brought two back. We dropped off Tabitha. Here's Thomas. Hi there, I'm Thomas Panic, CEO of Guiding Eyes for the Blind. Michael did a great job both on uh, transporting our dogs and a puppy uh, out to a puppy named Fenway. And we dropped off Tabitha as well. Tabitha was a fully trained guide dog. Fenway was a little puppy. We got two dogs that are getting anxious to get out of the aircraft right now. I can hear them making a little noise. And uh, we're going to be bringing back a couple of dogs to Guiding Eyes for the Blind, including Ed over there who looks like he's ready to get out. What do you say we get him out of this yeah, aircraft? Yeah, let's get him out. So. <laughs> yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah. Here we go. So take this guy out first. Hey, Ed. All right, Ed's in here. Yeah, it's a slip leash. I'll grab and hold that if you want to um, grab the other one. Hey, Bubba, how was your trip? This is Ed, right? Flight? This is Mr. Ed. Mr. Ed, <laughs> coming back. <laughs> yeah. So is Ed, uh, Ed matched is with anybody yet? Not yet. He's got a little bit of training to do, so he's going to go back into our training center and get evaluated and uh, see how he's doing. So his puppy raiser in Ohio has uh, asked for him to come back for a little bit, so we're going to take a look at him, see how he's doing, and... Uh, get him back uh, get him back to where he needs to be so hey mr ed awesome. get a good trip sounds like he uh did well hey awesome that's that's ed that's ed we'll wait until you get him in in the uh crate and we have the uh second one over there yeah fun oh thank you thank Pilots you to the rescue so that's right i hope we're providing a much needed service it's great to and have it's... a partner in uh in in pilots to the rescue and uh you know getting ice for blind so grateful to you for what you did today you're welcome bringing those dogs we reunited a uh a dog with the razor today tabitha she was raised in ohio and uh, we also got two dogs out there for people who are blind uh, who will see, soon be paired with their guiding us dog One's going out to Colorado, so a little bit of a longer uh, trip yet to come. Look forward to working with uh, Pilots for the Rescue um, more in the future, uh, especially important right now when uh, we're all trying to work together, two charities working together to do good. So good awesome. stuff. Very good awesome. stuff. Thanks. You're welcome. All right, you ready for the... We're ready for the next one. Next one. Okay, that's just the wire crate. Here you go. And this one's name? This one I'm not sure. We should uh, oh, First time I'm meeting this one. Hey, sweetie. A little scared. We have a ramp. You want me to get the ramp? No. Like, uh, all right. And we got Robert Albion here. Robert is uh, taking videos and Fun. photography. Oh, yeah. There you go. He wasn't scared. He was just caught on top of him. Oh, okay. Oh, oh this is the baby. The baby. <laughs> this yeah. might be Mr. Ed. Awesome. Yeah, the baby. Yeah. 
Okay, well, there's tags, so let's see. Let's see. Uh, Ed, this is, this is Ed. The other so one. I got it mixed up. What was the yeah. other one? The other one we can. You have to look at the tag. Oh, we have to look at the tag. Both black labs, so I couldn't yeah. tell them apart. So Beautiful hey. dogs. Yeah. yeah. Hey, sweet. Hi. 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 Hold on, do you have a leash? Yeah. It's on. Here. Oh, it's on? Yeah, it's a slip leash. It's a slip leash, okay. Yeah. I'll slip it through the... Um, it's already on. Yeah. You want to do it somewhere else? Yeah, I'm just going to put it through the uh, through the collar. All right. <laughs> hey. Well, a short live today, just two dogs, but uh, this is turning out to be a very uh, beautiful relationship, helping guiding eyes. Appreciate everybody's support. Hi, Linda. Hi, Iago. Hi, Carol. Uh, Cindy. Oh, hey, Andrea. Welcome. Andrea, supporter of ours and also Guiding Eyes, has been on several of our flights. Good to see you on the live stream. Uh, Geb, Linda, uh, Liana, Mark. How many did the dogs do on the way to Ohio? We did, Mark, we did three dogs there and two back. So pretty efficient rescue. And it was just east of Cleveland, only four hours round trip, but saved a lot of driving for these wonderful volunteers. And that's something... Uh, that Pilots Rescue does is we alleviate a lot of the ground heroes, the people that are driving such extreme distances um, to save these animals. These, these animals are a little bit different because they're, they're purpose bred for guiding eyes, uh, um, but it's a wonderful charity and they do tremendous work. They invest a lot of money into training these animals and ultimately they go with vision impaired individuals uh, and it makes such a difference in, in their life. I, I had the privilege to listen to Thomas, the CEO, talk about his guide dog blaze he's an amazing man he's run run over 20 marathons and he's blind so i've run zero uh, so it's a great organization and they're very supportive of us um and we're looking forward to doing more rescues with them uh sarah thank you for joining Anne marie liana uh, thank you everybody for coming on and supporting pilots to rescue and we'll see you on the next rescue. We've done uh, five, 20, 22 dogs, so we have 978 to go. Uh, our goal this year is 1,000 animals. We did nearly 600 last year. Signing off for now. See you later.